Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Here's a sneak peek at what we're going to be making today. We're going to be doing an alcohol ink coaster again and trying the warm technique. I did this a few weeks back, or maybe like a month ago. I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out. It turned out really cool, so I was excited to experiment with this technique some more. So you're going to need some clear resin. I already mixed up my resin and off camera and filled up my mold just about all the way full and I'm hitting it with my heat gun on low to pop bubbles. I'm using the general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store, pinata alcohol inks in passion purple, orange, and magenta and the blanco blanco is critical to achieving the petri dish effect um, you can also get these inks from the epoxy resin store and i have a 20 percent off coupon code if you guys want to check it out i'll link it down below too so when i do my petri dishes i like to pour three layers i'll do color white color white color white all on the same circle so i'll do you know the same steps on each different color. I'm going to be using the Violet Pearl Metallic and Lores Angel White Epoxy Paste. I mixed up about a pea size amount of each product into two cups of clear resin and I'm just going in and doing a swirly pattern. I used the Lores Angel White first, kind of like a cinnamon roll on top of the inks and now I'm going in with the Violet Pearl and just doing little dots of color and I'm going to do the same thing with the white just pouring little spots of it and going to do some few, a few more swirls and that's pretty much it I'm going to cover it up let it dry for 24 hours and then we'll be ready to demold it so here we are 24 hours later we're going to pop it out of the mold i was super excited to demold this and see how it turned out i saw t and art do this on her channel she used like a iridescent kind of color shifting pigment along with an opaque pigment in her petri dish and it turned out really cool so i wanted to give it a try i'll link her video down below and i'll pin it in the comments if you guys want to check that out um just scroll down to the comments and you can go check out her video she does some really awesome petri tree dishes but I was really excited to see how this turned out it's got so much really really fun depth and dimension and texture in there these are just so fun to make I swear I could just look at them because every time you look at it I feel like you find like a new detail that you didn't see before and here it is um, just up close in some natural sunlight that iridescent or the violet pearl metallic that I used that's gonna give you like a pearl look so you want to use something like that and then an opaque white of course the Lores angel white epoxy paste is really good for this I'll link all the materials um, I use down below in the description box along with this coaster mold from dryer days um, I have coupon codes if you guys need any molds and she's having a really big sale right now too for the end of the year so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you like this video I hope you learned something I hope you give this a try and if you like the video leave me a like hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really really help me out i'm trying to hit my personal goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so i can start posting one minute short videos to my story so yeah thanks a lot guys i'll see you soon for another video bye